So I want to talk about carthritis, just like human arthritis, in the typical Aussie ute. Now, remember that these dual cab type utes are now Australia's largest volume selling vehicles. And this is just typical of what tradies or farmers or people in town now have. This is a 2012-13 Nissan Navara. And on most utes, there's, for me, three areas you really need to focus on. Let's start at the front. Typically, they're double wishbone control at the front of the car, and they cop a real flogging. The bushings in there really cop it. Why? Well, if anything like me, I drive a ute, and I expect my ute, because it's up off the ground, just to be able to hammer across bumps all day long. But that load goes somewhere. Now, the other thing that really cops it are the shock absorbers, but the bushings at either end of the shock absorbers absolutely get a flogging. And down the back of the vehicle, most modern utes to this day still have a leaf spring live axle rear end. Now I can tell you from experience that the shackles at either ends of those leaf springs again get an absolute hammering because to me, the modern vehicle manufacturer has done a great job, particularly with a dual cab. So they're saying, carry the weight of three passengers and carry a bucket load of weight in the rear of the ute. So the stress and strain that goes down into those shackle bushes in particular, and the shock absorbers, require that you keep an eye on those bushings. So where do you go? Well, Nolithane, as I've said, make a complete range of suspension servicing solutions for your typical Aussie ute.